Two. Ready? All right. So to open the loom, first you gotta release some of this warp that I've got wound on here because it's already pre-dressed. So to do that, this is your brake. You're gonna put your hand on the brake, take your or hand on the brake, push down, loosen it, and then wind counterclockwise. Maybe kind of come around behind me here and and loosen up some of this warp. So that now this warp, we've got some hanging, we've got excess warp hanging down. Then we're going to come around to the front. Well, you can't really tell because of this paper. Right. right. I mean, now you can see the, so anyway, right. okay, keep All going. Right. So let's see, maybe pause it for a second, but first I'm going to, next I'm going to undo the stroller. So I'm undo this uh, wing nut that was right there and push the bar up so that's kind of parallel with the leg. And then you put the wing nut back onto that post and save it there. I'm going to do the same thing over on the other side. Take off the wing nut. Push up the bar, put the wing nut back on, and then now to open the loom, I'm going to stand here at the front and hold this and push it and pull it together a little bit, loosen the black knob on each side. Pull out these braces here in the back, these little silver braces right there. They need to come out, and then the loom should start to open. Yep. And once it gets fully open, tighten her back up, and you're ready to start weaving. This is the string I was telling you about. You want to tie this string. It goes through just underneath the beater bar and around the side of the castle so that it holds it just to the castle. And that way, so that now when we want to close the loom back up, now to close the loom back up, I'm going to go back to the. Can I ask a question? Yeah. What do you do with that bracket that's down there? It just stays like that? The Which bracket? The one on the... Oh, this right here? That just stays there? Well, yeah. While you're our, using it? Yeah, this is our stroller bracket. This, like, you might want to put some tape around and to... Because this edge... I was going to say, right. But, yeah, you might want to put some tape around that. But, so, now, to, to close her back up, Right. we'll go to the sides, loosen them up a little bit, Start to lift, lifting, lifting, whoop, grab that back piece, and then put your pins in, or not. We'll jiggle it till the pin goes in, and then tighten. So jiggle it till this pin goes in, and tighten. And so now right. your pins are in. Pretty. So the pins are in. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tighten back the warp up again. I'm going to do that before I secure the stroller. So I'm going to just take my hand here and I've got the, I'm pressing down the brake so it's engaged. And now I'm cranking clockwise because I'm crank, cranking the warp back onto the beam because I want to tighten it up and hold it all nice and tight in place. But now I'm letting go of the brake. And now we'll put the stroller back on. Emily, thank you. Flip this bar down, goes over the bolt, put the wing nut on. So that bar is in place. Come back over here to the other side. And 
she's ready to roll. I also always recommend when you lay it into your car, I like to lay it, whoops, into the car with the breast beam down. So when you take it up to the car, you're gonna be, this is your car, this is your breast beam, and the reason why we want the treadles going up this way, and then we're gonna tilt the loom and we're gonna put it in the car like this, so that when it's laying flat, your treadles will be up. We don't want to put it in the other way because then the treadles could get stuck as you try to slide it up into the car, right? If we tilt this way, that could be harder. So put it in front of the loom down, put a blanket over the top, and should slide right in. Uh, again, you have an apron rod tied to the front. Two more apron rods tied to the back, plus the leaf sticks and directions, the manual, uh, a shuttle, and a couple of bobbins in that bag. So you should be all good to go. And if you tie on, you've got a 12 dent brand new reed, and also at least 400 inserted eye heddles, and you got trail tie ups for every tie up so you're good to go every the loop's got everything it needs and so you'll be ready to tie on here if you want or redress it or however and i hope you love it see you and call me if you need me